squad. Oh, I ordered the whole internet. Do you like them? I like you. It would be a very different grandpa, I think. A seasonal identity crisis. Hey everybody! Okay, so today I have kind of a grab bag collective haul. It's a little bit of everything. Well, not really, but it's from a lot of different places. I didn't really like splurge all at once, but it became kind of a lot of stuff and I realized, mm, might as well do a haul. I got a bunch of stuff from Hot Look, aka Oat Look. Sorry, I'll try but I don't want to. And then Aldo accessories. So not like the shoe shop, but like the little side store that's like just accessories. It's like Claire's, but acceptable for me right now. Not that I wouldn't go into Claire's, not that it's been that long since I've been in Claire's, but you know what I mean. Also cotton on, yes, again. And then also Sephora. That sounds like a lot. So let's get started. First off, Sephora. I don't know why I think that you'd want to see Sephora first, but maybe. I just got two things. I actually went in to get one thing and then they didn't even have it. It was a little disappointing. But of course, I still came away with a little bag. First up, I got the small version of the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. I've talked about this for years at this point. I hadn't repurchased a larger size in a really long time, but I was really, really, really missing it. This is my holy grail primer it's really expensive what i went in there for was the hourglass primer that has the self tanner in it and for some reason they didn't have it i've always noticed it i've even tried a sample of it so i settled for the regular one which is not settling at all this is a really great primer and i'm really happy to have it back in my life even if it's just the small size i got the small size in hopes that i would come across the tan one somewhere along the way i don't know i can't explain myself the other thing that I got, I just got two things, was the Benefit Erase Paste. Now I had never tried this before, I've been trying a lot more Benefit stuff like all at once and I saw this in someone's video and it's supposed to be like really awesome for your under eye. And you might also know I'm on, you know, the never ending quest to find the perfect under eye concealer to, you know, camouflage my puffy eye bag situation. Um, unfortunately I have only used this a couple of times this is this is not it I think I'm gonna have to take this back I'm not really a fan it's like a little bit too wet and the pot situation kind of bothers me it's got a pot situation I don't know how to deal with it that's it for Sephora next up let's look at Aldo um, first off I'll show you I got these little mini baby midi rings and they are so cute and I thought they were silver in the store and then they came out to be I don't know, some Gilver, something else. I'm not really sure, but I still like them and you can wear them like a couple different ways. I've had these kind of rings before and I always lose them. So I felt like I really needed to show you pretty quickly because it's only a matter of time before I lose them. They actually might be two different colors. My eyes don't even know what colors are right now. This seems like a problem, right? Moving on. Next up, I got two pairs of sunglasses. They had one of those little like two for 20 deals or whatever. I'm such a sucker for those. I compared the store to Claire's and it is so much like Claire's because you know how they always have those deals where it's like buy five, get 10 free. First, we have these, which are super cool. They make me think of like my grandpa, which you might be thinking is a bad thing, but for me, it's all good. I am such a fan of these and like the kind of like very transparent lenses and they're kind of like a rose gold kind of thing. I don't know. It's so my grandpa and I'm so into that style. The next ones are completely not my grandpa. It would be a very different grandpa, I think. Um, they're like leopard and red and cat eye and huge and I posted Instagrams of myself with both of these on already. I definitely like them. And I actually, oh, You'll see, there's more sunglasses to come, strangely, I know. I have a sunglasses thing. I have a sunglasses addiction. If you watch my 50 random things, you saw some of my really most randomest sunglasses and glasses. Um, I have so many pairs of sunglasses, it's unreal. Another one that I got like two for one, it looks a lot, a lot like the one I got at Express like a year ago. That one is a little bit starting to wear out on me, so I was like, oh, must have. It's not as good, but it's pretty good. I love me some turquoise. It seems a little bit summery, but I don't care. Oh my gosh, you'll see. I'm having like a seasonal identity crisis or something. It's confusing in Texas. The next thing I got, I guess this was my two for one or whatever, it's, it's a crazy eagle necklace. I'm not even sure what got into me, but I like it. I feel 
Like, it is a fun little statement piece. It might be a little menacing, it might be a little intimidating, but I liked it in that moment, so I'm going with it. That was it flying. You don't know? Okay, so that is it from Aldo. Kinda did get a lot of stuff from there. I can do damage very quickly in a store like that. You don't even want to watch me do such things. I'm gonna kinda mix it up, and I'm gonna throw in something from Hot Look, Hot Look, I don't know. I went on some kind of like crazy spree and I was ordering stuff from Hot Look like every day and it all came separately and suddenly I had like three boxes all at once because I don't pick up my mail very often, sadly. But, um, yay. I felt like, oh, I ordered the whole internet. I already kind of told you, totally spoiled the surprise that I got more sunglasses, so I figured I'd just go ahead and show you. These were a bit more pricey. They're Elizabeth and James. I haven't fully gotten to like try them on and wear them and decide if I really like them. I don't know. I'm still very undecided and I feel like it's accentuating how crooked my ears are. Like one of my ears is higher than the other one and my nose is a little weird and crooked and so sometimes glasses are really crooked on me and I have to like go get them kind of molded to my warped head. Do you like them? Do you like my lights in the reflection? Lights. I feel like I like the other two better. Whatever. The box is very pretty and everything. That makes me happy, but I don't know. All right, and to shift gears again, I'm gonna switch back to cotton on. I just got a couple like pretty simple things, I think. I got this shirt, it's like a tank. It looks like this. Simple Pugsley tank. I like it. Pugsley from the Adams Family. Get with it. I also got this t-shirt. I'm a big fan. I think it's very cool. I like how the sleeves are cuffed. It fits kind of like slouchy and big, which is different for me, but I do like it. I also got this pencil skirt, which I have worn and I love it. Kind of like a t-shirt material and it's really long, like maybe even a little bit longer than a midi skirt. And it's really high-waisted and very form-fitting. It's a tube, it's a tube skirt and I love it. Another thing I got, which I'm actually still really on the fence about, it's like this strange bat wing see-through transparent cape. It's sheer, it's very dramatic. I don't know, I like it. I like it, obviously I ordered it, but I just don't know how I feel about it right now. I just haven't warmed up to it, if you know what I mean. That's, that's, that's the dangers of shopping online. It's dangerous, I know. I'll tell you. Now we come to even more hot look wear. I was very seasonally confused. I got a coat and I got some very, very, very fall shoe slash boots. Uh, I got a coat. I tweeted about it right after I ordered it and I was like, what am I thinking? Like it's just now gotten into the low 90s here. Anyway, let me show you the coat. I still can't believe it, a coat. Can't believe it. Here it is in all its glory. It's got a fuzzy collar. You know I'm all about the fuzzy collar. If it doesn't have a fuzzy collar, it better have a hood. I love a hood. It is Vince Camuto and I got a small and that is one of the major problems is I feel like the shoulders a little bit too broad. The main reason why I got a small instead of an extra small is because I wanted the sleeves to be long enough. Oh, it kills me whenever a coat or jacket uh, like the sleeves are too short and I have really long monkey arms. I'm long tall lanky person and I gotta have long sleeves. There's no point wearing a coat if your wrists are cold. I mean maybe there is but I refuse to see that point. The pretty like burgundy wine color and it's got all this piping on it. It's got a little belty action. It's kind of like a military feeling. I don't know. I'm into it. The only issue is the sizing. And I just haven't worked that out yet. It's like long. It is like, I have to wait until like February to wear this. It's kind of ridiculous. Why do I do such things to myself? Anyway, let's look at the shoes. Come here. The shoes, they are Blowfish. I've ordered several pairs from this brand and I'm not sure if these work, but I really, really like them and they're really cute on. In fact, I shoved my still hurt foot into one of them to try them on. Total mistake, I know, but I just really wanted them to work and I wanted to see if they fit and they feel a little tight. Um, but I love them so much, they're so cute. I don't know why I think these are so cute, but they're so cute to me and I want them to work, but 
It's like I can't even tell because my foot's still swollen and hurting and I can't even wear them because they are so not the right season for what it is right now. So many struggles. All the struggles. All right, so that's everything. That was a lot. Congratulations if you made it this far. I need to start thinking about buying things for other people. This is like birthday season in my family and the holidays are coming up and I need to get my eye on the prize. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments or questions, just comment down below. You can also hit me up on Instagram or Tumblr or Twitter or Facebook. It's Leanne Says Everywhere. I love hearing from you guys. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you have already, I really Really appreciate you coming back and being so cool and commenting and thumbsing up and just being happy and together with me in my moments. I like you. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone! And so, I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs>